Hi, hello, welcome to Spell Day. We're covering a spell every single day of the year from the 5e PHB Plus. Three of those plus three spells are homebrew spells. We're at plus one at the moment. You can back in the playlist to find it. And today's spell is light. Evocation cantrip, cast and have one action, range of touch, components of verbal material, a firefly, or phosphorescent moss. Duration, one hour. You touch one object that is no larger than 10 feet in any dimension. Until the spell ends, the object sheds bright light in a 20-foot radius and dim light for an additional 20 feet. The light can be colored as you like, completely covering the object with something opaque, blocks the light. The spell ends if you cast it again or dismiss it as an action. If you target an object held or worn by a hostile creature, the creature must make a dexterity saving throw to avoid the spell. Huh. I mean, in general, talking from the get-go. This is a cantrip. You can only have it on one object. It's not concentration. It lasts an hour. Fine. I mean, it's just, it's a torch cantrip. It still has to be on an object, but it can be something you wear so you don't have to hold it in your hand. It just immediately outplays any torch. Outside of range. Torches technically have a 30-foot dim light, then... No, 60-foot radius of dim light, then 30-foot of bright light, if I remember. Might be getting that wrong. But you don't need to hold it. You can cast this on objects, and you can cast it... You have to touch it, though. Kind of sucks. The situation I can kind of see for the next one of, like, marking a target in the dark if they're hiding in the shadows, but you have to already be in touch range if you're casting this on an enemy. And then they can make a deck save. I didn't know the deck save ability or feature of, like, using this on a hostile. It's interesting. In fact, it can be 10 feet in any dimension target. You can put this on some small wagons. Carriage. Some small, small enough carriages, possibly. Saddle. You can make a lot of things glow. Also just cool visual effect. Again, not concentration. Have it on a glowing sword. Neat. Glowing helmet, glowing glasses or goggles in the helmet. So you have this like beaming eye complexion. That might blind you actually. Nine out of 10. This would be used because it's a cantrip. Easy to get, easy to use. Sure, it takes a few cantrip slots. So that's probably the only downside, which is why it's not 10 out of 10, but it's not concentration, lights up an area. It's a fuelless light source that you don't have to spend a spell slot on, or material components, or gold cost material components, that is. Yeah, 9 out of 10.